The grocery store was bustling that Saturday morning, the aisles filled with the quiet hum of shoppers scanning shelves and filling their carts. Michelle moved through the store with purpose, her brow furrowed as she navigated the aisles. She didn't have time for idle chats or lingering. Efficiency was her goal, and she was used to getting in and out as quickly as possible. As she turned down the snack aisle and grabbed the last of her items, she made a beeline for the checkout area, hoping the lines wouldn't be too long. When she reached the checkout lanes, Michelle's eyes fell on Janelle, the young black cashier, whose friendly smile greeted her warmly from behind the register. Janelle was the only cashier available, waving to her politely as she did with all her customers. But instead of moving forward, Michelle stopped in her tracks, her face tightening with discomfort as she scanned the checkout area, clearly hoping another cashier would appear. Janelle's voice interrupted her search, her tone upbeat. Good morning, ma'am. Find everything you needed today? Michelle frowned, her gaze flicking to the items on the conveyor belt and then back to Janelle. She raised her hand, signaling her to stop, and responded coldly, I'd rather not have you touch my things, if you don't mind. Janelle's smile faltered, a flicker of confusion crossing her face, which she quickly replaced with a polite nod. She stepped back slightly, waiting to see how Michelle would proceed. A few nearby customers noticed the exchange, casting uncomfortable glances between Michelle and Janelle. The quiet murmur of the store seemed to still, as if everyone was watching to see how Janelle would respond. Michelle crossed her arms, her body language tense and guarded. Her voice was clipped as she added, Is there anyone else who can help me? She glanced toward the manager's office, her gaze expectant. Janelle took a deep breath, holding onto her professionalism, even as Michelle's words hung heavily in the air. I'm the only one available at the moment, ma'am, she said, her tone calm and composed, but I'd be happy to assist you with your items. Michelle's frown deepened, her eyes narrowing slightly as she pursed her lips. She remained rooted to the spot, her face set in an expression of thinly veiled disapproval. I'll wait she said curtly, making it clear that she wasn't about to let Janelle handle her groceries. Have you ever wondered how far one simple act of kindness can go, even when faced with prejudice? This story will reveal just that. Stick around to see what happens when Janelle chooses to rise above in a way that nobody, not even Michelle, expects. If you believe in the power of kindness and courage to change minds, make sure to subscribe. You'll want to see the full story unfold. Miss Andrews, the store manager, noticed the commotion from her nearby station and approached the checkout lane. Her sharp eyes moved between Michelle's tense posture and Janelle's calm but slightly pained expression. With a polite but firm tone, she addressed Michelle. Is there something wrong, ma'am? Can I help you with anything? Michelle turned to Miss Andrews with a relieved expression, assuming the manager would take her side. Yes, actually, she said, lowering her voice slightly. I'd prefer if, if someone else handled my items today. Miss Andrews raised an eyebrow, her expression professional but guarded. Janelle is one of our best cashiers, she said, not missing a beat. She's here to help every customer, and we don't tolerate discrimination of any kind in our store. Michelle's face reddened slightly a flicker of surprise flashing across her eyes. I'm entitled to my opinion, she muttered defensively, her gaze shifting uneasily as the attention from nearby customers started to weigh on her. A customer in line, an elderly woman named Mrs. Green, stepped forward, her voice carrying a hint of authority. Ma'am, she said, addressing Michelle directly, if you can't appreciate a woman who works as hard as Janelle, Maybe you're the one who should consider shopping somewhere else. A murmur of agreement rippled through the line, and Michelle looked around, her discomfort intensifying as she realized she wasn't finding the support she expected. She straightened her shoulders, her expression turning defensive. She mumbled something under her breath about taking her business elsewhere and turned sharply to leave. Janelle, watching her retreat, could have easily let her go without a word. But instead she called after her, her voice steady and sincere. Have a good day, ma'am, she said, the warmth in her voice genuine.
despite the situation. As Michelle began walking away, the unexpected happened. Her purse, precariously balanced on her shoulder, slipped, sending her wallet and keys tumbling to the floor. Her face turned an even deeper shade of red, and she glanced around, flustered, as the contents of her purse scattered on the floor. To everyone's surprise, it was Janelle who stepped forward first. Without a moment's hesitation, she bent down and began gathering Michelle's things, carefully placing them back into her purse. She handed it back to Michelle, her expression as respectful as it had been from the start. Here you go, Janelle said kindly, holding the purse out to her. Michelle stared at her, momentarily speechless. Her hand trembled slightly as she accepted the bag, her eyes wide with confusion. She opened her mouth to say something, but no words came. It was as though she couldn't quite process the grace Janelle had shown her, even after the way she'd treated her. Without waiting for a response, Janelle gave her a nod and turned back to her register, picking up where she left off with the next customer in line. Michelle lingered for a moment, watching Janelle, her thoughts a tangle of pride and discomfort as she tried to reconcile her actions with Janelle's kindness. With a final glance around, she exited the store, leaving behind an impression that would linger in the minds of everyone who had witnessed the exchange. As Michelle walked home, the events at the grocery store replayed in her mind. She clutched her purse tightly, still feeling the weight of the moment when it had slipped, scattering her belongings everywhere. Despite her pride and discomfort, the image of Janelle's calm face and her unexpected kindness kept surfacing. Janelle had shown grace and respect, even when Michelle's words had been filled with judgment. Back home, Michelle tried to distract herself with her usual comforts, a favorite show, some tea, even a good book. But none of it held her attention. Her mind kept drifting back to the quiet judgment she'd sensed from other customers, to Janelle's steady gaze, and to her own embarrassment. Why had she reacted that way? What had driven her to treat someone so differently? Later that evening, Michelle decided to confide in her friend and neighbor, Mrs. Green. They often shared opinions and perspectives, and Michelle hoped Mrs. Green would understand. She hesitantly brought up the incident, expecting some reassurance or validation. But as she explained what happened, Mrs. Green's expression grew tight, and her usual smile faded. Michelle, I've known Janelle for years, Mrs. Green said her voice gentle but firm. That young woman works hard, treats everyone with kindness, and has been nothing but respectful to everyone in our community. She didn't deserve that treatment, and I'm surprised to hear that from you. Michelle was taken aback, her cheeks flushing with embarrassment. She hadn't expected Mrs. Green to take such a stance. But for the first time, Michelle realized that her actions had caused a rift with people she respected. And that seed of doubt took root, forcing her to confront the harsh truth she'd been avoiding. That night, as she lay in bed, Michelle couldn't shake the thought that her own prejudice had led her to judge someone unfairly. The memory of Janelle's calm and respectful demeanor haunted her, a mirror reflecting parts of herself she didn't want to see. She began to wonder how often she had let her assumptions shape her interactions and how many good people she might have misjudged along the way. Over the next few days, Michelle felt increasingly troubled by her behavior. She began to notice other people's interactions, observing how they smiled, how they offered small gestures of kindness. For the first time, she wondered if the cold distance she often felt from others was something she'd created herself. Finally, unable to ignore the guilt, Michelle made a decision. She would return to the grocery store and apologize to Janelle. She convinced herself it was simply to clear the air, but deep down, she knew it was an apology for all the times she had let prejudice and assumptions cloud her view of others. On the day she decided to return, her heart pounded as she rehearsed her apology, carefully choosing her words. As she entered the store, she felt nervous, but resolute. She spotted Janelle at the checkout, her face as friendly and welcoming as ever, despite the busyness of the day. Her smile didn't waver as she scanned items and chatted with customers, 
exuding the same warmth that had disarmed Michelle days before. Michelle approached her slowly, and as she neared the counter, she took a deep breath, summoning the courage to say what she had been practicing. Michelle stepped up to the register, her pulse racing as Janelle looked up, her expression calm and polite. Good afternoon, ma'am, Janelle greeted, her tone just as kind as before. Hello, Janelle, Michelle began, her voice wavering slightly. I... I came here because I wanted to apologize for how I acted the other day. I was rude and unfair, and I'm genuinely sorry. You didn't deserve that. For a moment, silence hung between them. Then Janelle's expression softened, and a small warm smile appeared. Thank you for saying that, she replied, her voice filled with understanding. It takes courage to come back and apologize. Michelle let out a breath she hadn't realized she'd been holding. I've been thinking about what happened, she admitted, her gaze meeting Janelle's. I realized that I've let too many assumptions shape my view of people, and I never thought about how much harm that can cause. Janelle nodded, still smiling. I appreciate that, and I appreciate the effort. We're all part of this community, and it's better when we treat each other with respect. Michelle felt a weight lift from her shoulders. She hadn't expected such graciousness, but Janelle's warmth and acceptance gave her a strange sense of peace. Other customers, noticing the exchange, nodded approvingly, recognizing the significance of Michelle's public apology. As Michelle left the store, she felt a mixture of relief and newfound clarity. She knew that her journey towards self-reflection and growth was just beginning, but she was grateful for the chance to start. And as she walked away, she felt lighter, her heart open to the change she had been so afraid of. The days following her apology to Janelle were filled with quiet introspection for Michelle. She felt a newfound awareness when she interacted with others, a shift in how she viewed her surroundings and the people in her life. She had spent so many years placing walls between herself and others, using assumptions as a form of defense. But her experience with Janelle had changed something fundamental. Inspired by Janelle's example, Michelle began searching for ways to become a more active member of her community. One morning, she discovered a flyer for volunteer opportunities at the local community center. The idea appealed to her. It was a chance to do something meaningful and give back. Nervous but determined, Michelle signed up to help at a monthly food drive organized by the center. On her first day, she recognized a few familiar faces, including Mrs. Green, her neighbor, who greeted her with an approving nod. But the biggest surprise came when Michelle noticed Janelle among the volunteers. She was leading a group of teenagers, instructing them on organizing food packages and guiding them with the same kindness and patience she'd shown at the store. Michelle felt a pang of admiration and a sense of gratitude toward Janelle. Seeing her outside the store, actively working to uplift others, reinforced Michelle's commitment to change. As the day went on, she found small ways to be helpful, learning from Janelle's warmth and openness. They exchanged a few words here and there, and as the hours passed, Michelle felt a subtle, growing camaraderie between them. At the end of the day, as volunteers cleaned up, Michelle approached Janelle, a genuine smile on her face. Thank you, Janelle, she said softly, for everything. You've shown me so much more than you know. Janelle gave her an encouraging smile. You're making a difference here, Michelle, and that's all that matters. It was a simple exchange, but for Michelle, it marked the beginning of a genuine friendship. She continued to volunteer, each visit bringing a renewed sense of purpose. Over time, Michelle's life transformed, her days filled with connection and the fulfillment that came from being part of something larger than herself. The walls she had built were coming down, replaced by bridges of respect and understanding. Several months later, Michelle and Janelle found themselves standing side by side at the community center, overseeing another food drive. The center was bustling, filled with volunteers, families, and local community members. The two women had become a fixture in the community's outreach efforts, 
a testament to the power of kindness, growth, and understanding. As they stood together, Janelle looked over at Michelle, who was laughing and chatting easily with other volunteers. The once guarded woman was now fully engaged, her openness and newfound joy evident to everyone around her. Looks like you're really enjoying this, Janelle said, nudging Michelle playfully. Michelle smiled back, a glint of happiness in her eyes. I am. I never thought this would become such an important part of my life, but I'm grateful every day for it. They stood in comfortable silence for a moment, watching the people around them, united in their shared mission. Michelle's life had once been defined by solitude and judgment, but now it was filled with warmth, community, and a sense of purpose she had never known. And it all began with an act of grace from a woman she had once misjudged. Michelle turned to Janelle, her voice filled with emotion. Thank you for showing me what kindness can do. It's changed everything. Janelle placed a reassuring hand on Michelle's shoulder. We all have the power to change, Michelle. You took that step, and that's what matters. As the day continued, they worked side by side, two women from different backgrounds now connected by mutual respect and friendship. The grocery store incident was long behind them, but the impact of that day had created ripples that continued to spread, inspiring others in the community. The final image was one of unity, of people from all walks of life gathered together, supporting one another. Michelle and Janelle's story had become a quiet but powerful example to those around them, a reminder that empathy and understanding could bridge even the widest gaps. And as the community grew stronger, Michelle knew that this journey had given her life new meaning, a life of openness, connection, and hope. This story reminds us that we all have the capacity to change, to break free from our prejudices, and to build a world of kindness and understanding. If you believe in the power of compassion to bring us closer, don't forget to subscribe and join us for more inspiring stories. Let's keep learning, growing, and making a positive difference together.